yeah so i'm in the park and you know i'm new to blogging in the sense of doing it in the public where people can see me or whatever but um yeah so my rant is that choice fm is no more like no more choice fm no more 97.9 or the 107.1 version of choice fm for those of you who do not know choice fm was like um the black fm like not saying that no other races can listen to it but what they're playing is everything from mainstream r&b hip-hop afro beats all of that to now a commercialized watered down version it's like oh yeah so yeah so that's what it was people are coming so i'm getting a bit shook now so hold on let me see how this looks anyway mm-hmm, mm-hmm. checking out a park can anyone hear me see me Random rent time, well not random, well whatever you want to call it, it's a rent, um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so after um, he left the BBC, now a few weeks ago I'm hearing that um, he's joined Trace FM. And that was, maybe that was the discussion me and my friend has happened, like, Okay, he got fired from the BBC and now he's going to print the film. And I was like, well, that's cool, he's got a job in it. Like, but my friend was saying, oh, it's like he got demoted. But I was like, nah, I love Choice of Film, just like I love, um, or I was, we're talking about respect in it. And yeah, I guess it's, it's got the same respect as um, FM's like Kiss FM and, you know, a few years ago it got taken over by um capital fm so yeah so anyway so the latest is that choice fm um which is owned now by capital fm has changed the name of the station like um why are you going to change the name of the station choice fm like okay um no i think that's a move too far, too soon. Um, I think like Choice FM has done their hard work, and now you're just like trying to erase it completely and just put in your title on it. And it's the worst thing about it is called Choice. No, not Choice. See, I'm still confused. Now it's called Capital Extra. Capital Extra. Does that sound familiar to you? It, mm, mm, sounds like one extra to me doesn't it like so um capital extra is or formerly known as choice of mm. and so it's actually called capital extra urban dance or actually dance urban like which one is it really um not impressed with the name change it could have been more original it sounds like an add-on like urban black music i don't even like the term urban but black music now i'm being called urban okay i'm trying to understand it and yeah the term urban mm, i can live with it i know it's a kind of down polite urban way no um commercial way of saying that it's black right like it's very black urban is the very black but no i think that okay if you can change the name be original like be original and strong with it capital extra sounds like we've been put in a little corner and we're just the extra like with the extra cherry on the top of the cake which is capital hmm like clearly over the years choice of them hasn't really been choice of them since it's been taken over by capital like i was 
talking about yesterday, the capital extra X choice of um people are not happy people. Mm, I just went on look. So look, that's what it is. Capital extra would have been choice of um what is capital extra bullshit? Anyway, so they they advertising the new show or whatever. It's not Kojo or Jade's issue. They're sitting calm. They're getting paid regardless of what the radio station's called. You know, so it's not their beef. They got jobs, right? But like, <laughs> look at this chick. She's like, please hold on, capital. This is called Rachel Blackman. And yeah, b- before I even start reading her thing, my um issue is that I liked the Choice FM page, and now they've just changed the Choice FM page to Capital Extra. Why didn't they start a new, fresh one? But clearly. So it's like I've liked, I've been forced to like Capital Extra. Like, why not leave, cap, um, get your own Facebook page and leave us with a remnant of history, which is Choice FM. So anyway, so they advertise their bullshit, whatever. And everyone's just using the comments bar just to express their complete disdain for Capital's changeover. So let's read this. This may take a while. But, you know, you can pause it or come back later. Anyway. So, Rachel Blackman. Look at all of that. I'm going to have to read all of that. And let's see how we go. Oh, my God. Even more. Ooh. And she got 48 people liking it already. I've just liked it just now. Anyway. This is what it says. Please hold on Capital Extra or whatever you're calling yourself these days. Don't you think you are your listeners or perhaps ex-listeners? More appropriately, an explanation. This Facebook page has been in undated with listeners expressing their discontent with the changes you have made. And rather than address them, you continue to put up silly little adverts promoting a willingness to be excited about the airing of its new show that nobody has asked for or willingly welcomed. Do the points of view of your listeners have no meaning or impact on you guys? It encourages me to think that this is, in fact, response that you wanted to out out for current listeners and create an entirely different station with different listeners. If this is the case, would it not have been better you had announced that Choice FM is ending and be replaced by Capital Extra on 96.9, formerly known as Choice FM? In my view, the reason why there is so much uproar is because you've seemingly taken over Choice FM and replaced it with a completely different station while trying to pull the wool over our eyes and almost say it's still Choice FM but with a better name, new DJs, new playlists. Who asked for this? Because it certainly wasn't your listeners, damn right. Answer the people, they are in uproar. You've taken away something familiar and historic for so many of us and haven't even bothered to address the negative responses from the followers yeah i'm just cutting in what i was she said yeah because i made some rant on twitter and i added capital extra which um they've taken over trace fm's um twitter why didn't you create your own oh you couldn't be bothered you just thought you let someone else slay for it and you just come in and take over bullshit anyway let's get back to this it's a disgrace. Stop putting up the silly adverts for the launch of a show no one wants and answer the people. I, for one, haven't turned in once since I heard the news. Just out of sheer principle, but I've not disliked the page yet. Me too, honey. Me too. Because I'm waiting for an answer. So where is it? I will tune in to the breakfast to hear what has to be said about the death of Trace FM, but if there is still nothing, I myself will petition to create a station that does care about the views of its listeners and will try to emulate everything we list in Trace FM. The response has have only spurred me in knowing that there is a community out there that will support this. I will start with a keep the spirit of Trace Martin J, Daddy Ernie, Jenny Francis, Calvin Francis, 
Cat and Richard. I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, heavy. Like, that's so emotional. But it's true. That's how I feel. And, like, couple, you were so snaky in your movements. It wasn't like a lead up or something. Just snaked us out of our station. This is our station. I came to chase the fam and I saw Brandy, even though she acted like a stuck up bitch. I saw Ludacris. He was fine. And his crew were cool. Ludacris was cool. He hugged me. He told me, hey, little ma, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was looking fine. I still got a picture. Where is it? And I also met Jarvel Ishanti at Choice FM, not Capital Extra, Extra Bullshit. Anyway, that's my rant over. Well, let's see what other people have got to say on this topic. Anyway, worst ever. So, Leslie Lee Richard says, and I think she's a white chick too, <laughs> and she's saying, worst move ever. You destroyed a great radio station with fantastic DJs to replace them with no ones with no personality. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Let's see what Bhavna Sachdev has to say. Don't think there is one post I have seen where someone is saying something positive to say about this. Big shame, big disappointment. Already hearing rubbish tunes on the station. If I were to listen to awful dance music, I'd be listening to Kiss FM in the first place. Now, there's another one called Kerrang, like them noisy FMs. Like, take that shit off, man. Like, if we're playing disco, like, no, no, mm. and this is what Holly Banks says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, Caroline Shorey says, I think everyone should protest, no one should listen to this station, it's needed to bring choice back, Charlotte Barbie says, the music has already started changing over the, this last week. So I just put it, bring Trace back. But to be honest, I think Trace FM has kind of been changing over the last couple of years since Capital Cova. But I guess they still let certain people hold the reins. So, mm, yeah, it's bag of noise. Like, really, really sad. Vasco Karanikli says, listen to Trace FM from the beginning. There is still a big demand for the soca, reggae, dancehall, soul, Jenny of soul, Jenny Francis, lady of soul, LOS, that wants my station sitting in my car, doing something I shouldn't be doing, but doing it and enjoying it, listening to the lady of soul, Jenny Francis, I love her voice and her voice is so sexy, mm, I'm not even lesbian, but oh, her voice is sexy. Like, mm, yeah, so, as I was saying, mm, an R&B, just like why Rodders left Kiss. They think there's no market for this and marginalise the DJs out of existence. Also, back in the day, Choi served a mixed community and promoted causes like the ACLT. You got to hear about the Afro hair and beauty shows. And stuff. Oh, my God, yeah, where are we going to get free tickets for shows like that? Like, you know, like, who's going to promote in that? Because Capital, you're just going to be talking about Rihanna, Beyonce, Jay-Z, all that satanic bullshit. Like, I want a mixture of everything. Yeah, this sounds what I want to be, Ruby. Beyonce is too noisy. I'm not on that shit. And Jay-Z, um, I don't know, Camel Tom Monkey. Well, anyway, it's not his fault. He's making the money. Do your thing, do your thing. But I don't hear him setting up nothing, like, community-wise. Yeah, I guess he... I don't know, let me know, if that's not even a topic, let's keep it moving, so Colin Hilton says, 96.9 will never be the same, damn right, damn right, alright, this video's going on a bit long, but I think you get the idea, there's not one comment saying, yo, go, com go, um, Kappa or whatever, look at Ed and Ruff, oh, there's my old uni buddies, well, the guy with Rasta, Ed, Cool.